Okay, this is CPL quiz four. Number one, where a defendant has been committed to the custody of the sheriff or OCFS, which is the Office of Children and Family Services, he must be released on bail or in his own recognizance if people are not ready for trial within certain time periods based on the top count charge in the accusatory instrument. A motion to release the defendant on bail or ROR may be denied if the people were ready for trial prior to the expiration of the requisite period and their present unreadiness is due to one of the following two things. Some exceptional fact or circumstance or the sudden unavailability of evidence material to the people's case where the DA has exercised due diligence to obtain the evidence and there are reasonable grounds to believe such evidence will become available in a reasonable period. Now I'm going to give a real life example of this. Patricia is indicted for grand larceny. The people have an eyewitness to her stealing a car. That eyewitness is all ready to go and the courthouse blows up and burns down. Well, the people were ready for trial. Patricia was about to get her day in court. The witness was about to testify, but then the courthouse blew up. So why should the complaining witness and the DA be punished for that? Because they were ready. So that would be an exceptional fact or circumstance, right? Or the witness is walking out of the courthouse and one of the employees accidentally hits her with the car. Well, now we know this person is gonna take six weeks to recover and then they'll be able to come and testify. That's what this is in the here for, this exception. The time periods in the question above do not apply if the indictment charges which of the following and just remember that it's any homicide. Any type of, there, you don't have to memorize like if it's murder in the first or second degree, but it is. But just make sure you don't pick like rape in the first degree or any class A felony or a sex crime. It's, it's any of the homicide ones. A lot of, of times when the people's time to be ready for trial is, is excludable. And if you're in the courtroom, they'll call this excludable time. A reasonable period of delay where a defendant is joined with a co-defendant as to whom the time has not run and good cause is not shown for granting a severance. Now this is question as asking about when a period of time is not excluded, okay? So when is that period of time included, right? Because if we say not excluded, that's saying when is it in the period included? B says, ACD, well, obviously in ACD, that's excludable time. C, the reason that's wrong, it's because it must be through no fault of the court. So that when it says that the defendant is without counsel because the court accidentally assigned him, you know, an attorney that was disbarred, well, that is the fault of the court. So the way that should read, I'll make it right, is the period of time in which the defendant is without counsel through no fault of the court. the period of delay resulting from the absence or unavailability of the defendant, the period of delay resulting from defendant having been detained in another jurisdiction, provided the DA has been diligent and has made reasonable efforts to obtain the presence of the defendant for trial. Four, whenever pursuant to the section of prosecute state or otherwise provides notice ready for trial, the court shall make inquiry on the record as to their actual readiness. If after conducting its inquiry, the court determines the people are not ready for trial, the prosecutor's statement or notice of readiness shall not be valid. Five, this is true. With regard to a statement of readiness in a local criminal court, it shall not be valid unless the prosecuting attorney certifies that all counts charged meet the requirements of CPL 100.15 and 100.40 and the counts that do not haven't been dismissed. Now, I didn't put this in the question, but that was CPL 3035-A. Uh, this is also true. Number six, 
An order denying a motion to dismiss pursuant to 3030 shall be reviewable on appeal, notwithstanding that the conviction resulted from a plea of guilty. That's interesting. So make sure you know that just because you plead guilty and the, because the court denied your your 3030 motion, you could still challenge it on appeal. Number seven, in general, where a defendant has been committed to the of <laughs> To the custody of the sheriff or OCFS, he must be released on bail or ROR if people are not ready for, with, for trial within 90 days if the highest count is a felony. In general, if the defendant is committed to the custody of the sheriff or OCFS, he must be released on bail or ROR if people are not ready for trial within 15 days if the highest count charge is a class B misdemeanor up to 90 days in jail as a punishment for a class B misdemeanor. So the answer for that is 15 days. Number nine, if they're not ready and it's a violation he's in jail, it's only five days. So number nine, the answer is A, five days. In general, where a defendant has been committed to custody of sheriff or OCFS, he must be released on bail or ROR if people are not ready for trial within 30 days if the highest count is a class A misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in jail. So that would also apply to an unclassified misdemeanor there. Like if it was for a DWI, that's an unclassified misdemeanor. They would get 30 days before they had to release the guy from custody. Write at least two other time periods that are excludable period of time prior to the defendant's actual appearance in court when the defendant is directed to appear pursuant to an appearance ticket. So just because I got an appearance ticket that says I have to appear on July 7th, if the DA files the accusatory instrument June 30th, I haven't even come to court yet pursuant to my appearance ticket before I've appeared in court. They can't possibly be responsible or charge that time. So a period from June 30th to July 7th is excludable time. Two, a period of delay when defendant is joined for trial with a co-defendant whose time has not yet run and good cause has not been shown for granting a severance. Is that if you had just scroll back to question three, you probably could have uh, just written one of those two there.